VOD homies to another edition of Damus TV goes live streaming in of hell of heaven adventure. Today we're going to be playing two games, Played Up and Road Warden. These are two indie games that are coming out. Uh, I I saw they they both had overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, so made me made me excited to try them. You know, let me turn this down. So Played Up is, uh, it's a cooking management roguelike building game. I saw this is kind of fun multiplayer, co-op or something as well. Like, uh, as well. It's kind of like overcooked. Um, I wanted to try it by myself before I get my friends involved. Because it looks like fun. I don't know. It looks like, yeah, it looks like overcooked, but kind of just there's more. It's actually... RPG mechanics, there's management mechanics, there's actual choices, there's actual stuff to do and progression, like, that's kind of cool. Cook and serve your dishes, design and decorate your restaurants, and expand your culinary kingdom with new unlocks, abilities, and dishes in procedurally generated locations. Classic cooking action with permanent roguelike progression. Hire your friends or do it all by yourself. Cool. Uh, and this is... This is available for purchase right now. For about like 30 Australian dollars, I think, or 25, 20 US. Let's check it out. I'm playing with the controller. Hopefully that's the way to go. I don't know. New, new shit. Oh, whoops. No, no, no. How do I get out? Oh, no. I've got two controllers. No, get back. Quit game. Remove input. Remove input. Quit game. Oh no. Oh no. There's no sound that I, I can hear. I want to keep playing that music that I had though. Ah, okay, that worked. Now I'm green. Uh, I want to be the goddamn chef. I am the gourmet. I want to be Damus TV Red. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, go to the office floor plan. Steak. I don't know what the controls are. This is just a lab. City, city. Floor plans? Complete the plan to begin. Oh, I can choose. Aha, uh -huh. okay. You can choose the floor plan that you want. Do you want it like this? Uh... Or do you want it like this? I think we'll go for the smaller one, I guess. Before we get too big. And the menu is just steak. Asman Gold $2 steak. Stand here to begin. Okay. I don't know how to play yet. Cook steak once for rare, twice for medium, three times for well done. Okay. Already quite advanced. Oh, shit. Where's the door? Start day. Whoops. How do I... Oh shit. I have a steak. I've only got one menu item, so... I've already got... I've already got a... One... What would you like? Uh, one medium, one well done. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. That, that's a mistake. One medium. One well done. 
shit. What do I do with this one? Man, this is kind of hard. Uh-oh. He wants a plate! Oh, shit. Hold! Is there a fu- I need- Oh, man, this is too hard. Dude. We- <laughs> Oh man, if I had Gordon Ramsay as a boss, he'd be majorly pissed. How can I help you, sirs? One medium, one rare. Coming right up. What was this? What are they doing? Eat that shit. What? What? Ren I, I don't want to rename the restaurant. Damisville. What is that? What is that? What? Am uh, what's happening? Game over? Can we go again? Well, I I don't even know what's the button for interacting. Why? Hello, Lady Devi. Buenos dias. A recipes. Steak? My cats are hungry? Have a steak, Mr. Cat. They want two medium steak? I have to cook. Alright, my cats want. <laughs> they want some <laughs> nice quality meals. All right, this is definitely not meant for one player. It feels like this is kind of way too difficult. Like, how do I carry two things at once? Bon appetit. Okay, what did my cats give me? I don't want to wash the dishes. Uh, X. Oh man, it takes a while. What? How can I help you? I'm not feeding you guys any more steaks. No more steaks. Uh, I need I need a really... This one's better? I want a... <laughs> I want a restaurant without walls. It was too difficult before. Walls are bad. All right, this one seems a little bit better. Uh, buenos dias. How may I take your order? One rare, one well done. All right. Here, here. Oh. 
What? You're making a mess. I'll be with you in a moment. I'll be with you in a moment. What is this mess on the ground? How do I clean this shit up? Man, meowed. Uh, two rare steaks. All right, that's what I'm talking about. There you go. One bon appetit. Uh, you guys will have to. Why are you making such a mess? I'll be with you two gentlemen in just a moment. You must wait. How can I get you? Uh, two rare steaks. All right. Sure. Hell yeah. One. Ah! Shit. Uh, you have to wait. You have to wait. Sorry, I overcooked it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. How are you getting food on the floor? They completed. Hell yeah. You earn thirty-seven dollary dues. What? What is this? All these emails automatically moves items. Oh my god! Conveyor. Ooh. What's this thing? Something to snack on while you wait doubles patience. Uh huh. A blueprint cabinet. Place a blueprint here to store it for later. Okay. And that's cooking. Uh, well, I can't really do that. Avoid that sinking feeling. A sink. Okay. Upgrade the sink. Cooks things. Hob. Uh, research desk. Well, I can't afford that. Um, automatically moves items. I mean, that sounds good. But the snacking. How do I, I want this? How do I how do I use this? Oh. Breadsticks? Do I put that over here on this side? How, how do I buy it? Aha. Oh shit. Have some, have some breadsticks. How, how, do, how do I use it? Eat the breadsticks. Uh, how, how do I give him breadsticks? I can't put it on the table. Like that? No. Alright. What's this? My captain's quarters? Hope you guys like bread. Buenos dias. How can I help you today? Uh, a well done steak. Jesus. Alright, fine. You want trash, you can have trash. It's your well done steak. Here's your rare steak. I'll clean up after you because I'm a slave, am I? A table for one. Jesus. All right. Can I just put dirty plates in the bin? What would you like? A rare steak. Well, all right.
Bon appetit. Hope you're hungry. Oh man, it's making such a mess. Hold on, I need to, it's, where's the music in game? I don't know. Action cards, active cards. Add steak as main dish. Okay. How does this work? Your chef is also your waiter. Forgive me. You want to well cook steak. All right, if you want it, you can have it. You want a rare steak. You want your steak burnt to hell? There you go. You are, sir. We need to bring some families in or something. They completed, hell yeah. I can upgrade this stuff now, okay. Uh, a sink, why would I want a sink here? Dining table, another table, okay. Cobb cooks things. I need to get a slave. Research. Blueprint cabinet. Oh, so upgrades are just random. Teleports items to dumb waiters. I want that. Budget hob. Catches flies sometimes. That doesn't sound too good. Uh, I need a slave. Oops. Eat the breadsticks. All right, yeah, whatever. We'll go with that. Got three tables. Buenos dias. Steak and things. Steak and things. You want two rare steaks? All right, you got it. Come on up. You got one. You got two. You got two steaks. You want a rare steak? Oh shit, okay, hold on. Just eat some eat some breadsticks. Don't mind me. Have to clean one plate at a time. What kind of what is this? Oh no. Oh no. Hold men. Hold. Alright, yeah, I'll be with you in a moment. Well done and medium, okay. When do I get the slaves? Alright, here you go, here you go. What can I get you? Well done in a medium. me it's coming it's coming 
There you go, there you go. Why are you making such a goddamn mess? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, cool. One. What, right. One, um, one Michelin star? Uh, wait, hold on. Ah, oh, I didn't want to pick. I was panicking. I picked from more more people. Counter. Uh, okay. Ordering terminal. Interact to take a table's order remotely. Uh huh. Research desk. Sink. Dining table. Uh, I think we do the this thing. Ordering terminal. So. Okay. Order yourself. Right, start day. All right, so I shouldn't be able, shouldn't have to do anything. Can they order themselves? Order yourself. Oh, I have to do it for you? Oh, shit. Uh, one medium, one light. Does food get cold? You got, you got this. that uh jason hey whoa relax there chief <coughs> uh, i'll be with you i'll be with you gentlemen in a moment Okay, the ordering part is not actually a difficult thing. I, I kind of don't want people to order. Maybe that was a mistake getting that upgrade. Oh shit, we got a queue. Oh fuck. I hope somebody wants a well done steak. There you go, there you go. Alright, no way I can handle this many customers. There's no way. I'm a busy man. I hope somebody wants a well done steak. A rare. Okay, hold on. Ah, oh, shit. Did I fail? Restaurant over? I failed? New dish unlocked salad. Extra dish choice. Upgrades. Continue. Wait. How, how do I get more? Full game only. The salad. Okay, so we're just playing the demo. I need more upgrades. I need slaves. How do you get slaves? 
or waiters or something. Alright, start day. Wait, hold on, what's this? No, I don't want to practice. Practice is, is for chumps. Steak three ways. Because we do steak in only three ways. Oh man, two doors. I don't like this. Good evening, chumps. How can I help you? One rare, one well done. Cooked to hell. Alright, now can I grab it from the other side? Yes, I can. Hold, men. We make it such a goddamn mess. I'll be with you folks in just a moment. Can I put this in there? Nice, okay. Just use the same two plates. Screw putting them back. I'm just gonna start cooking. I assume you want steak. Two rares. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh shit. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. All right, your steak's coming. How can I help you? Too well done. All right, too well done. I can do that. Uh. Shit, put the steak in the bin. <laughs> clean, clean, clean. You want two burnt steaks? You can have two burnt steaks. Well done is like... A curse among men. I'll watch you eat. How about that? They completed. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So expect the customer six. Sign up dining table. Okay. Teleport items to other dumb waiters. I want that, but I need money. Blueprint cabinet. Budget hob, okay. Cook two things. Hob. I can barely... Well, alright, maybe I can do... Maybe I can do it. Can I just, like, put the kitchen... <laughs> It would be easy if the kitchen was just in one room. Can I just have it all here? I don't want it in two separate rooms. <laughs> I want I want maximum efficiency. Just my house. All right, how about we do it like this?
Whatever, group size doesn't matter that much. And the bin. You can... <laughs> you can watch me cook. Alright, I think this works. Hello? Steak, well done, one light. All right. Let's try the new system. I clean it at light speed. One in the sink. The efficiency is off the charts. You want a well-cooked steak? Fine, your funeral, buddy. There you go. Bon appetit. How are you getting food on the other side? No! You, you'll clean up that shit. Hello, sir. Medium steak? No problem. How's your day been? Has it been entertaining? Nice, getting some f alone time away from the wife. I, I appreciate that. The efficiency is insane. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up! Oh, I hope you want two well done steaks. One rare, one well done. Hold on. Yes. How you... That's it, that's it. So I'm talking about all right all right the efficiency system worked blueprint cabinet okay no don't need that breadsticks doubles patience sharp knife chop three times faster cool research desk interact to upgrade and blueprint in an adjacent cabinet okay avoid that sinking feeling okay Allows you to prepare food. Another table. Uh, well, what can we do? Aha! Cool, cool. It works. Start day. All right, I think I'm starting to understand. Good evening, sir. You want a medium steak? It's coming up. It's my specialty. Bon appetit. How would you like it? Two medium? No problemo. Ah! Shit. Pressing the wrong button. I gotta put this in the trash. Don't mind me. This one too. Shit. Made a slight 
miscalculation. Here you are, here you are. Bon appetit. What would you like? Stay cooked to hell, all right. Hey, 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 don't, don't push the chef. Kind of struggling with the the orders now. We're, we're, it's a little bit messy. Don't don't mind me. I'm just I'm on my own this evening. Oh, it doesn't matter. Easy peasy. We just rush it. Print increase. Okay, now I can't have too many customers, otherwise I will suffer. Plus two group size, plus one minimum group size. Adds thin deck as a main dish. Thin cuts cook f quickly and burn even faster. Cool. How do you how do you do that? Dining table mixer. It's like having an extra pair of hands. Counter, I already got counters. Research desk. What, what is this? What is this shit? I don't know what that is. That steak? That buy? I didn't buy anything. Hob. Uh. Can perform both chopping and hand. I don't know what this thing is. Thin steak. How does this work? I'm starting to run out of room here. Fine, very well. Uh, all right, start day. What is this thing? Fire blanket? I, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Wait, what is this? Thin steak, you wanna, thin steak cooked to hell, all right. It cooks very quickly. Bon up. Man, I gotta put it on the other side of the wall. Buenos dias. You want it? You want it here? Okay, you can sit here. You want a normal steak? You want to cook the hell? All right, it's coming right up, sir. Here, yeah, bon appetit. Ay, Jesus. What would you like? You 
want a thin steak? Sure, why not? There you go. Bro, business is booming. We're making progress. All right, two people. Okay, a little bit more difficult. One thin steak, one normal steak. All right. Both burnt. There you go. Do you mind if I, you, I watch you eat? They completed, hell yeah. All right, I haven't failed yet. Uh, how does the research desk work? I, I don't understand. this dining table okay counter blueprint cabinet sink resupplies table consumables what what consumables all right we're just saving our money today uh how do i do this how do i research shit Hello, sir. You want a steak? No problemo. Asmongold special. Bon appetit. Hello, my friends. You want a rare steak? A steak cooked to hell, all right, no problem. There you go. Well, you're making a goddamn mess. I'll be with you in just a moment. can I get you? Normal steak. All right. <coughs> Wait, you want to burn the hell? All right, fine. It's your funeral. Seven bucks. Don't mind me. Just cleaning up the place. You want a thin steak? Both want all right, no problem. Aha, there you go. Just relax, relax, relax. I'll get out of your way. Last table. Hope you don't mind being in the kitchen. It's a new new experience. People are going crazy about it. Mamma mia, Marcello, what the fuck are you doing? I'm a chef, dude. I'm, I'm a chef now. I graduated. Graduated culinary col college, okay? Uh... Your restaurant is earning you theme unlock. Charming or formal? It's just business? Well, if we char if it's formal, then we can charge formal prices. What's this shit? What? Is this a rug? Uh, 
How the hell does this work? <laughs> what is all this shit? We got rugs? Calm painting. Oh man. Plus 10. Plant. Plant. 60 bucks for a plant? Tidy plant. It's all my goddamn money, man. Calm painting. Plant. Plant. Takes two to. I don't have room for this shit. How, how does this thing work? Hey, one of them just disappeared in the fat air. Did I chuck in the bin? Aha! Fancy schmancy. Uh, kind of looks like shit though. Aha! Wallpaper. We are a small restaurant. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine. Comp painting. Doubles the patience. And this is plus 10%. I mean... Alright, fine. We're spending all our money on the goddamn painting. That's the... That's the painting? Oh my... It's the absolute shit. I still don't know how this research desk works. Someone explain it to me. Buenos dias. Uh, are you buffering? You want a shitty steak? Alright, I'll give you a shitty steak. There you go. Bon appetit. Hey, hey, hey! I was cleaning that. Shitty steak, and you want them. And it would, all right, fine. You want them both cooked to hell. Fine. Here you go. Here's your crappy food. It's your funeral if you want it like that. <laughs> Just a moment. Thin steak. Ah. Ah. Well, whoops. That's for not for you. That's for the other guys. There's not much room. Okay. Well, we're on a strict budget. gonna get you a uh, thin steak yeah a normal steak there you go there you go get, get on my way I, I need to clean you want a thin steak all right Still got soap on it. Yeah. God damn, you're making such a mess, you peasants. What do you want? Shitty steak, thin steak, right. You can put blueprint into the cabinet. Huh? Ah! Uh oh. Put the steak in the sink. 
<laughs> we just hold it there. Next to the research, we'll research it. Oh, that's what that's for. Oh man, I'm making such a mess. Uh, take this steak to go, it's a leftover. You can put a blueprint into a cabinet next to the research desk to research it. Okay, wait. A blueprint into a cabinet next to the research desk. A demo complete. I was just testing the demo. I think I'll buy this game though. Um, I like it. I mean, I, I obviously you need... It's very difficult by yourself. But it's doable. If I could design the room a little bit, because I, I literally just had to combine the dining room with the kitchen. I, there's no point in me having separate walls. It's just a waste. <laughs> I've got the fridge and the stove right next to the dining tables. Oh, I can just keep going? Okay, so you sing. Uh. Oh, how does this work? This is just a counter. Put this next to... I need to have that research thing. No, no, the cabinet. How come I don't have any upgrades today? Restaurant over! I got shut down by Gordon Ramsay. Restaurant shut down after reaching end of council's demo licensing period. Man. Upgrade cards. Progress. Oh! Hell yeah. New dish unlocked pies. New setting country. Wash basin. Continue? Yeah, I'll play it one more time. I also like it even though I suck at it. Do you play by yourself or do you play with a group? Megan. I've played a little bit of uh, Overcooked in the past. Oh yeah, I need a big... <laughs> we need to make... <laughs> Just put everything in the kitchen. That's the plan. Steak. Okay, yeah, steak. We name the... Um... St Steakums. <laughs> I don't know what that means. We're going to Steakums. You want to go to Steakums? Yeah, we go to Steakums. Get a steak. A steak. Booking desks. Uh, booking desk. Interact to accelerate time to the next customer. All right, sure. Why not? Zero dollar dues. All right. Now we put the tables here. Yeah. Oh man, actually, I like this better. <laughs> Re reorganizing. <laughs> We're reorganizing. Don't mind me. Just me. Do not have much time for playing. Oh, that's fair enough. So do you have the full version or did you just play the demo? more efficient to just put everything in one room you got the full version oh cool so you, you would recommend it all right. Uh, 
Uh, it isn't perfect, but it doesn't need to be. I've, I've got room for upgrades. What's this question mark? Like this mark? No. We'll put this here somewhere. This needs to be next to the fridge. I do not need, <laughs> I do not need more than one room. I'll just block it off. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Buried before you reincarnate. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. I appreciate the follow. It is a little bit different. Yes, I'd recommend it. Okay, fair enough. It's pretty cheap, so... No, I mean Barry. This is the best follow we've ever had. I love you. I love you. Medium steak. Uh oh, did I? Uh oh. Oh no. Maybe that was a mistake. Uh oh. <laughs> I think that's okay. Oh shit. It's... We got we got room. We got room. Come on in. Hello. cook this again would you like you all want it like completely burnt god damn it I think that was a mistake now they're both getting impatient here you are here you are you're making such a disgusting mess. Oops. It's coming, sir. Don't worry. Delivered from the chef himself. Clean, clean, clean. Oh, nice. 31 bucks. Hell yeah. Blueprint cabinet. Okay, that's for the research thing, right? Hob. Th oh, that's helpful. Sink. Counter. Floor buffer. 120, though. Flower pot. Bonus patience. Change order. Leave happy. Magic flowers. Give to customers for special effects. Are they going to eat them? Research desk. Uh, I, can't, I can't afford anything. This is my first day. I can get the blueprint cabinet. Uh, and I can put something in there. I think I can... I get this. Grab. Ha, ah, okay, it's in there. Wait, how many things can I put in there? Just one? Just one. Uh, research desk seems valuable. All right. I assume I'll get a hob next. Evening, evening. Bonjour. can I get you? Oh, okay, yeah, a steak. A nice choice. Uh, 
There you are, there you are. What do you want? Steak? Well done, all right. I'll be with you in a moment. Easy peasy. What would you like? Does the mess actually help? I mean, let me clean it. I need to clean it. You want two medium steaks. All right, coming up. One. It's just resting. Don't worry. It's coming soon. Personally rested. Yes, it's delicious. I swear. Nicely seasoned salt and pepper. Rosemary, garlic. Oh, don't cook the plate. I'll be with you gentlemen in the moment. Well done steak. Okay, well, it's if you really want that, sure, why not? Medium. It's coming soon. It's coming soon, fellas. You want your steak burnt? There you go. Your pain. Oh man, such a mess. A successful day. $49 e dues. That's what I'm talking about. Display stand. Place a dish here to encourage customers to order it. Mm, advertising works. Dining table? Mm -hmm. That's helpful. Gas override. 100% faster, but burns 400% faster. Oh, I want that. Let's try it. How do we... How does this work? Does it work like that? I don't know how it works. Yeah, I don't know how this works. Do I have to press the lever on it? We'll see if this works, or it could be a disaster. Oh, you just you press it and hold it. Okay. Tss. Buenos dias. Super steak. All right. Let's let's kick it up a notch. go there you go I'll clean that up for you no problem I, 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 just be a minute sir super steak all right turbo working out this is working out uh, medium steak okay there you go there you go 
So would you guys like two lights or bread steaks? Show sure, knife, no problem. I can do this. Man, speeding it, speeding it up is actually not that helpful. Because I need to be manually on it. Come on. There you go. There you go. Jesus, such a mess. Whatever, end of the day, I'm just going home. <laughs> oh, one star. 25%. Oh, broccoli? Broccoli is a side. Oh, shit. Add broccoli and water to pot and boil. Interact to take a portion. Okay. That's broccoli. And those are the pots. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, combiner? It says... Another, another cook, cooking thing. Okay, that sounds useful. I think I could put this. Can I afford this? Yeah, I want it. All right, I think. I mean, this looks a, this looks a little bit scuffed, but it makes sense to me. Uh, need the food? No, you need the... Yeah, you need the kitchen. That's fine. Th that, that'll do. That'll do. So you put the broccoli in the pot and you boil it? Wait, how does that work? Does it need water? I don't understand how this works. Steak. One rare, one well done. Uh, how do I cook this? Excuse the mess. Don't mind me. Oh, shit. Wait, how do I do the broccoli thing? Do I have to fill it with water? Aha, I do. Oh my god. Too many steps. Oh shit. Uh, don't mind me. Oh no. Okay. Medium steak with broccoli. Turbo. Alright. How do I... I have to put this on a plate too? I don't have the counter space. Shit. Alright, hold. How do I put it on the plate? How do I do that? How... I... What the? Man, I'm so... That was so difficult. That was so difficult. Ah! I'm panicking. I've got... Oh my god. Hold! Oh! There 
It's still good, it's still good. What would you like? Steak a steak, okay, I can do that. Uh. Whoops. Man. Cord. God damn it. Does that go in the bin? Yeah, it does. Turbo. I'll take your order in just a moment. Oh my god, such a mess. Uh, whatever. Oh god. Oh, this is the last table anyway. Screw it. Uh, two mediums. Oh man. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, oh, oh, panicking. Uh, this broccoli is really screwing me up. Oh no. Oh no. I have no counter space. It's just a steak here. Oh my god, this is what it does. It slows you down. Oh my god. Moose speed. Moose speed slow. Enjoy. Holy moly, the broccoli. I, I have to, I, can I practice the broccoli? Jesus. That was almost a disaster. Alright, now maybe I can do this research bench thing. Research desk. So you put this... Hold. Okay, so what does it do? Interact to plus upgrade a blueprint in an adjacent camp cabinet. Ah, oh, okay, but you still have to buy it. Aha, okay, now see, I see that thing up there. A bin? How do you upgrade a bin? Counter? How do you upgrade a counter? Another research desk, another table. Give me a super table. Alright, alright. Um, oh, I can probably put, I don't have to have this in this room. Okay. Let's let's begin. Maybe I can boil the Oh no, the broccoli. Okay. You want one medium. One medium steak. Ah! One well done steak. Okay, and broccoli with that. Huh? Easy peasy. Too many mistakes. Oh no. Alright, close. Evening, fellas. It's not good making a mess.
Oh man. This is this is not easy for one. Do I, can I do this? Oh, I have to do it while I'm like working. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. What would you like, sir? You want a well done steak? I can do that for you. Oops. What would you like? Medium steak? Sure, no problem. Here's your, your steak. Steakums. Excuse the mess. Alright, this is so far so good. What would you like? Medium steak? Sure, no problem. We want some broccoli with that? It can be free. Oops. Have some, have some broccoli. Ah! Oh shit. Put it in the bin. Uncook it. I'll put it here. Turbo. There you go, sir. Seven bucks. Have a good day. Get out of here. Uh oh. Uh, exclusive, affordable. Focus on serving customers as quickly as possible. Focus on making customers happy, even to get inside your restaurant. Uh, yeah, exclusive. What we got? Oh yeah, we'll make it nice and fancy schmancy. Uh, what's this? This is tiles? Ooh, that looks terrible. That looks terrible too. Well, I don't know. We'll save his backup. Ew. Painting? No. Put down. All right, what do we got here? Table, bar table. Seats one. Interesting. Uh huh. Okay, for the the loner. Patient, uh, plant, plant, candle, bra. The normal lighting isn't fancy enough. Plant, chandelier, candle, bra. Man, this this thing takes up room. <laughs> Running out of room. All right, fine. There you go. Look at that. The prestige. Wow. Mighty impressive. Indoor fountain. Uh, no, thank you. Statue. Oh my god, the, the, the prestige is off the charts. Yeah, we'll upgrade that. We'll see how that does. Alright, so we're ready for the mess. Let's begin. Go, go, go. Oh. What can I get you? I'll be your waiter and chef this evening. Alright. Yes. I'm gonna do steak too. I want me to do steak. Ah, shit. Ah. Okay, hold on, hold on. It's a very complicated process. Ah, what the... 
Hold. Hold, man. Hold. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. What can I get you? Oh no. Steak. And steak. Okay. Uh, I need two sinks. This is... This is not good. Uh, I, I need to just like throw the plates away. You are. You are. Oh shit. Man, it's, it's just myself tonight. There's more people? I, I'm gonna fail! Oh man. Oh man. Just regular steak. We, we serve him first. Quickly, quickly, eat, eat, eat! Eat! Okay, okay. Light steak and veggies. I can do that. Ah! Oh. Oh, shit. Ah, no. Ah! Sorry, I didn't know you wanted the plate. Okay, I... <laughs> You have to specify. What would you like? Medium steak. Okay, Jesus. Working hard. Oh, this is the last order. Oh. What do you want? Oh, you want a plate? Man, plate's like $5 extra. That was a little bit more difficult. Holy moly. End of the demo. Jesus. Okay. You need like slaves or waiters or something to help the process go on because you like as the orders get more complicated, you need more workspace. These walls are a pain in the ass. Uh, the cleaning the dishes, a big waste of time, like a big hog of the time. Hmm. If you can, if you have like a dishwasher or something like that. Yeah, you need like some equipment to help pass the time. Alright, cool. I'm going to try this again another time with uh, a couple of my buddies. And we'll see if it's any good. Garage, wash basin. Oh, you can put multiple in there. Uh huh. All right, there's quite a few upgrades. I think next, my next stream, I'll, I'll might, I might play this game. Cool. So that was played up. Um, the next game I wanted to try is called The Road Warden. It's a different um, different kind of shift, different gear, different style. This is like an RPG. I saw this is this has overwhelmingly positive reviews as well. So I like I feel like if there's an overwhelmingly positive game, you need to try it out or at least have a look at it to see if it you know, just even vaguely suits your style. So Road Warden is 
an illustrated text-based RPG using isometric pixel art and combining mechanics borrowed from RPGs, visual novels, adventure games, and interactive fic fic fiction. Um, non 995 reviews, so not that many compared to at least the other stuff. Story rich game, fantasy, avid role playing. I'd like to see why this is so good because normally I'm not really that interested into um, text based experiences. Nice loading screen. It begins. We marvel at the serenity of the forest and crave the shroud of its silence. Went too fast. New game, I think I clicked. Everyone knows to stay away from the wilderness. Most people would never risk a lonely journey. Road wardens not only accept this struggle, they embrace it. They deliver messages, assist merchants, burn human corpses, and if possible, get rid of the beasts and highwaymen. They live on the road, die young, or retire early. It's a dangerous job but a respectable one, and it pays well. I still have my doubts. I leave the city walls. Yeah, I leave the city walls. I'm brave. Please select the difficulty mode. This choice can't be altered later on. Okay. Casual, standard, restrictive. No time limits, 40 day time limits, 30 day time limit. More cash, quest more forgiving. Increase nighttime damage. We'll just go standard. The wall is still standing. There are no walls around. No stench of blood. Good signs. Is it too loud? I think it's a little bit too loud. This should be the place you're looking for. You were supposed to meet with a group of soldiers, but you hear no voices, no sounds of labor. The gate is ajar, but the camp isn't safe. It may keep away the goblins and peddlers, but not beast folk, nor trolls. And the night is near. Your palfrey breathes heavily. It had a long day. I don't know what a palfrey is. I could just look for another shelter, I need to look around cautiously. I dismount and sneak to the gate, let's peek inside. I get off the horse and enter the camp briskly. Cautiously. I'm gonna look around cautiously, or maybe sneak inside. Your heavy boots hit the ground, and the pain of a long ride finally catches up to you. Uh, catches up with you. you stretch out bringing your back and legs comfort all you want now is a table a decent chair a nice mug of beer and some warm stew with any luck your axe won't be needed here i approach the gate slowly take care of yourself if you're hurt or exhausted some actions won't be available to you okay cool if it's a military camp it doesn't look the part Plenty of wasted space. The fire pit is cold. Hmm. Two people. Uh, two people are sitting at the table, tired and disheartened. They're looking in different directions, paying no attention to one another. One of them is holding a cup. After a moment, you notice the quiet humming. You recognize the melody of a light-hearted drinking song from the city harbor. 
the city harbor. They don't look like much of a threat. I can end them. It takes him a few breaths to glance in your direction. The first person greets you with a wave of his hand. There are bags under his eyes. His beard is messy. Despite his simple shirt, he's wearing durable, decent boots. A mace with a head covered in iron hangs at his side, but he doesn't reach for it. Take a look at the second soul. Just like you, she's wearing a gambeson, but hers is a bit loose. As, she, as if she took it off a corpse. Her head is shaven, as if she's protecting herself from flesh-eating bugs. Her eyes are weary yet kind. She smiles. Considering the squad was sent here half a year ago, these two surely took the surely looked the part. Oh, there should be more of them. Eight, you believe? Um, I'll let them speak first. It's nice to see an unarmed traveler in this godforsaken shithole. Makes me just a tiny bit hopeful. The beaded man's voice is strong and timid. You'll be staying the night with us, I guess. We're soldiers, he and I. Adds the young woman. The moment switches from half asleep to relaxed. We'll do our best to keep the camp safe. But if you were to take the first watch, it would be a huge help. Travelers ought to help each other, wouldn't you say? You think for a moment to fully rest, rest you need a good sleep. Do we trust them? I'm exhausted. Sure, leave it to me. Fantastic. She rubs her hands together. I don't remember the last time I had more than half a night's sleep. The hours before midnight should be the calmest. Just wake us up if anything happens. The man flashes you a wide smile. It's easy to wake us up. Just yell. He drinks from his mug. I asked him about their lieutenant. You wonder how to phrase your question. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. Be supportive and cordial. Friendly. Playful, use a joke or witty comment, distance, hide your emotions, intimidating, hint at a threat, or vulnerably sad, tired, afraid, or helpless. Yeah, they seem friendly. I'll try this. I had a long journey. I need to have a word with your lieutenant. A woman stands up and approaches you. She pays little attention to the sword at her side. Her soldier, uh, shoulders are straight, eyes worried. It'd be me, Traveler. Are you in trouble? There's only the two of us here, but if you're lost, we'll take you to the nearby inn right after sunrise. Actually, I'm your new road warden. Really? The soldier in the shirt uh, sh leans forward. That explains how you got here in one piece all by yourselves. Though you look exhausted, that's the other soul. Don't you have a mount? I have a horse waiting outside. Shouldn't you unsaddle it? I bet it's tired. Long pause. I assume you're here not to meet a lieutenant, but rather to get some directions. I'm Tulia. I'll be happy to help. She reaches out to you. I shake her hand. I'm... Papa Damus. Her grasp is confident. The shake is slight. Just keep your horse away from the tents. She steps away. We don't need to smell it's done. Ah, here's this one's issue. The soldier in the shirt also rises to his feet. We have no tent to spare. You'll have to use a blanket or something. Uh, I enjoy observing the stars. You walk through the gate. Your mount looks around and snorts anxiously. Not many humans could ride a horse. It's not only taller than you, but also bulky. It's as heavy as it is strong. You can get in the saddle with a single breath, but most people wouldn't know where to even begin. From every, every side, it's a wall of flesh. Horses were brought to the dragonwoods from the conquest in the south. They can trot for a long time, but won't outrun some of the local monsters. Your palfrey needs you to survive. 
but without it, you too would be lost. Uh, it's my only companion here. I want to feel at ease. I want it to feel at ease. Takes a few steps forward uh, toward you, scolding you with another snort. You scratch the bottom of his neck with strength and confidence, just the way he likes it. Humans see useful animals and even pets as monsters in disguise. Getting emotionally attached to them is believed to lead humans to their doom. You know that horses need companionship. I speak to her gently and lead her to the camp. You end up next to the fire pit, removing the saddle. Uh, removing the saddle makes the horse snicker with relief. You take a couple of minutes to examine its back, just in case. But while the riding equipment is not that heavy for such a strong animal, for enough time it starts to chafe. You wish it had something better to eat than this, than this shabby grass. You should look for an inn. I need to unpack. Aha, okay, now I'm picking like a class. You haven't brought that many things and you lost one of the sacks while fleeing the Crimson Corpse Eaters. Worst of all, you have no rope left. But maybe the soldiers could share one. Shouldn't cost more than the dragon bone. Aside from the travel set, you own a few valuable possessions essential for your trade. Uh, fight a mage scholar. I want to learn more. Spend my savings on decent combat equipment. I have a fine gambeson, an axe made of steel, and a reliable crossbow. Okay. Mage, talisman, powers. Okay. Scholar, I can write, carry writing instruments and alchemo, alchemical ingredients. A healing potion. I want to learn more. As a fighter, you will have an easier time with physical challenges, thanks to your superior equipment, hidden bonuses during dice rolls. Physically more capable now that classes, okay. Fighter's weakness relies on physical strength. Your abilities won't be available, your vitality drops to zero, okay. Mages is new, my versatile, but limited pool of energy. Can cast a few humble spells. Magic won't protect you better than a sharp axe, but as a mage, you'll be able to heal faster while resting. Detect magic in a mysterious era, distract the beast with a simple trick. Find a common tongue with other magic uses, okay. Scholar will know more about the world's mysteries than you, helping you take advantage of, of some unusual situations. Your character will impress the locals with its knowledge and you'll be able to read the sparse written clues without anyone's assistance. Scholar's struggle with camera more than other classes, but with not carefulness and exploration, you'll gain access to alchemical mixtures that'll help you escape from many dangerous situations. I like the knowledge, but I don't like being so goddamn weak. Hmm. I'll try the scholar. I... You unpack and inspect your belongings. Your water skin isn't pierced, and spare clothes are still here. But just in case, you take a look at your wooden bowl and mug and your cape, tinderbox, bandages, food rations, knife. Nothing special or too cumbersome. From time to time, your routine helps you avoid mistakes. But it doesn't make it any more exciting. I return to the soldiers. They're at the table again, observing your beasts and chatting between themselves. Your stomach growls at the sight of them eating out of the wooden bowls. One more bowl was put at the previously unused end of the table. You can sit down on the tree log. I join him and I, I take a look at the un, at the meal. It's cold gruel. The meal eaten in times of hardship. Oh shit. Uh, this specific bowl is filled with water, hog millet, some strange looking cereals and blueberries. Ooh. Welcoming you, uh, welcoming you with a meal, even a humble one, is beyond their duty. Soldiers live with and for their companions constantly on the move from one part of the realm to another. Making sacrifices to protect their group as they, face, as they face dozens of hideous creatures. Their lives are filled with discipline, hardship, and com camaraderie. Rogue Wardens, on the other hand, learn how to work by themselves. They seldom engage in open combat, patrolling the same roads, same roads for years. They help the settlements stay in touch, but also maintain commerce, settle down, forge friendships. When there are no laws to follow, they use their own judgment. 
different responsibilities, different lifestyles. I eat quickly, not focusing on the taste, and speak with Tulia. She's focused and enjoying her wo- uh, chooses her words carefully. She looks away only when she gathers her thoughts. Thoughts. I'm afraid I can't tell you less than I would like to, and less than I should. She nods towards the other soldier. As you can see, there's not a lot of us left. At the beginning of summer, there were eight of us, including our previous lieutenant. Five are dead, one has run away in tears. We're also strangers in this land, adds her companion. Any piece of information may help me do my job. The man leans forward, his legs shake nervously. He sounds like a kid asking a bard to sing one more story, tell a joke, or do a magic trick. Whatever it takes to escape from boredom. boredom. His untrimmed beard hides a much younger face than you originally thought. What did the officials tell you? I expect not that much. No soul governs these lands. I share what I consider to be relevant. Tell the soldiers how little guidance you've received since this area is far too uh, far too far away from Holovan. Holovan? To keep it under control, you are warned that it's untamed and unknown. Who knows how many villages, bandits, or monsters may be found in these unmapped hills and forests? From time to time, new people come here to look for boundless opportunities. Most of them never return. Do they turn into walking corpses or find what they're looking for? No soul could tell me, so I was looking for your guidance. The lieutenant drinks from her cup and crosses her legs ankle on knee. Sitting, seeing her chair makes you doubt she'll ever find a comfortable position. Where should we start? Okay, um... Oh, there's a lot, lot to go on. I want to, I want to know all of them, can I? Uh, I lost my rope. Can you spare one? You're in luck. She heads towards one of the crates and moves aside a large linen sack, revealing a rope. She brings it back and nonchalantly sits down in the chair. Take it. I was planning to leave it behind. Take a closer look. Cool. I'm not giving them any food. Buy for zero. Totally not. For now, you leave the rope on the table. Uh, what should I know about the p- peninsula? I'll tell you what I know, and you'll be the judge. How long did it take you to get here from the city? On a decent palfrey, I guess it would be three, four days. When you confirm, she continues. From here, you can reach the coast in about a day, as long as you don't make any stops. Do you know the situation? Why no ships can get here? You nod. The sea route allows Hol- Hovlavan officials to keep in touch with the coastal villages. Collect taxes, move soldiers, collect lumber. Okay, okay. Um, seems like quite a lot of lore. Because of the rocks, you can hardly stop a ship five miles from the shore and boats can get much closer. Okay. Why not just stay? Yeah, okay. Man clears his throat. I mean, you know where to guard this road. This camp is our post. And well, he turns toward Tulia. She lowers her voice. Don't take it the wrong way, Papa Damus. <laughs> but are you a devout soul? Yay, Mustang. How are we doing? What is this game? Uh, this is... I'm trying a couple of indie game demos. I saw this... This is called Road Warden. I saw um, this and some other game. They have like overwhelmingly positive reviews. So I wanted to check them out. My friend Harrison, he linked them. Um, and I was curious. Like if if people are really like loving it, there must be some reason. If you have the patience, because this is text-based. I mean, this is the intro as well. It's kind of slow. Um... It seems fine so far. I mean, the writing is good. That's what I'm just kind of checking out. It's it's just text, though. I mean, you have, like, stats. You have loot. And, you know, that's all good. 
but it's kind of curious. It feels roleplay-ish. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. It's a little bit slow, but I'm gonna stick with it for a little bit and um, see if it picks up. How about how you doing, man? What are you playing right now? Are you a devout soul? Um, I have a strong connection with nature and spirits. Okay, let me try to... <sighs> they don't say, are you religious? Are you devout soul? Yes. I'm part of the United Church. Okay, so they want me to say something. They want me to say I'm part of the religion. Um. Yeah, I'll do the first one. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a strong believer. A fellow unite. The man smiles. Though in this land, it won't bring you much good. At least we can discuss the topic freely, adds Lieutenant with a v barely visible smile. Aha, so you read the situation correctly. Cool, let's get into it. The people here are disquieting. Every few words, she taps the table with her finger. The traditions won't help them negotiate with the officials here. She starts to draw lines with her index finger as if she's pointing on a visible map. The peninsula is connected with roads, like a big circle. In the northwest, you'll find a weird village at a bog. It's not exactly pagan, I don't think. It even has a priest who claims to be an Eremite. We nod, she means a fellowship. They do crazy shit, her companion chips in. They use the dead to cut down trees and dig in soil. Once I saw it, I begged to never return there. I see. I was making some, um, some chess games with your dad. Making chess? What do you mean? Like making, a, making the board or just playing a couple of games? What's your favorite opening? Having a beer now and about to jump into Skyrim Mage story? Oh, nice, man. That sounds like really, really, really chill. I can already hear the music. I can't hear the music here, though. Oh, there's stuff here. Oh, that's just the wrong way to say it. Bad Spanish translation in my mind. No problem. I think I understood. I was just asking the question to, to confirm. Uh, for tales such as this one since we were a child, if an isolated settlement manages to survive without a city's influence, its customs, traditions grow more and more alien. Every generation learns how to adapt to the dangerous conditions they even they have to deal with. And the rustic pagan traditions muddy their river of faith. United Church often warns its members about the crazy druids, necromancers, and blood mages, the bringers of doom, the traitors of, to humankind. Any monster worth mentioning? Aha, uh -huh. anything that could catch my mount? Good question. We saw all sorts of beasts. The man starts to count his fingers. Goblins, treants, cats, large and small, runners, howlers, wolves, spiked boars. Mongflan eaters, griffins, but we managed to stay away. Some could catch up with the most mounts, Tully glances at a companion. Though a palfrey should be fine. The trees are so tall that a flying creature should keep, uh, keep to the coast and the mountains. There's not that many humans around, and the animals are fighting, are busy fighting among themselves. They fight more for food than territory. Soldier cracks his knuckles. Don't provoke them and ride fast, just count on luck. Uh, we able to speak to the necromancers? No. If 
you're heading to the undead village, you'll get an in, get to an inn first and soon. Okay, how about the east? Okay, east is a tunnel, okay. I need to ask him about the road warden. What happened to the previous road warden? Um... Sounds like you're not sure if he's dead or not. Aren't you a little bit late for a rescue mission? Okay. We haven't heard from him in almost a half a year. If anyone knows, they won't tell us. Maybe someone is keeping him in a basement. Okay, we haven't seen him or his sorry. Something ate him, I bet. Ate him a bit. Leave the lurk. Have a good one, Papa Damus. Thank you, sir. Mustang. Have fun with your Skywim. Enjoy your brewski, enjoy your beer. Hope you enjoy your nice chill day and night. Thanks for stopping, sir, stopping by. What was he looking for? Maybe left your message. I almost forgot. She turned up and heads to the nearby thing. He has kids in a village near Hovlava. Planning to take all these things there. Power, second spear, these bursts of potions, quite a treasure. But I would much prefer to bring them the truth about their father. So you want me to find out what happened to him in exchange for this stuff? Here's the catch. He dusts off the, the hilt of her sword. I've hired a messenger to ask the commanders for further orders. So she hasn't returned, you know nothing about her. She either ran away or something happened to her. We meant to stay here until fall. What do you think? Come see us, uh, Come see us, tell us that you've learned about the man, we'll get get back to Hovlevin together. You think about your real mission, you were planning to return to Hovlevin in the early fall anyway. If he's alive, I don't think he's going to be happy about me taking away all his possessions. True, but he's considered dead, I doubt he'd begrudge you, any, uh, begrudge you anything. Who knows, you may just find his shell lying on the road beside tomorrow. He wears a more, uh, male, this is a spear mostly. Be five feet tall but stout, long red beard, short hair, pale face, rarely smiles. She glances at her companion, but often, uh, but after he has nothing, she sits down and stretches her legs. So, find out what happened to him, dead, alive, just let me know. Okay, I know everything I need. Uh, I think that's good enough. Are you sure? Says the beat man, we may not be around next time you come here. We should prepare for the night. I agree, Tilly size relief. You may. Uh, and may you do better than Asterion did. did. Stay vigilant, she winks at you, shattering the mask of a soldier. Thank you for your help. You go to the barrel and splash water in your face, which makes you even more aware of how much you need a bath. After the night will only get worse. Your horse is already napping, still too anxious to lay down. I prepare for my watch. The soldier in the shirt is eager to guide you. Just observe the area. There's plenty of griffins around, though they... Though they won't try to jump over the palisade. Probably. Better watch out for the apes. They climb up and carry out any food they can find. And there's one really loud were elk that keeps smelling the wall that he's never tried to get in. He points at a gate. The tent and I will block the entrances. They're quite heavy, so if anyone comes here looking for a shelter, better, better call us out. Uh, better call us to help you out. And if this someone is being chased by wolves or anything, better throw them the rope instead. Okay. If it gets cold, feel free to make a flyer and best place is in the watchtower. You may want to put a blanket in there or something. Okay, watchtower. Yeah, here. He points to the pile of crates. Just climb up to the tallest one. Okay. I have... Uh, thanks. Okay, night time. You put your blanket on the tallest crate and slit, sit down. The night is warm. The sporadic summer breeze brings gentle refreshment. From time to time, your back aches, and you have to force yourself to keep your eyes open. The light of the moon helps you focus on the tall grasses. For most of the time, you spot smaller critters and birds. But there are exceptions. At one point, you see a three-horned deer trying to challenge one another before they clash their antlers. A two-legged dragonling appears, leading to its much smaller offspring. 
furry beasts try to intimidate the predators with roars and aggressive head movements. After a few moments, both sides walk away slowly, not willing to risk the fight nor admit their defeat. Keep looking around. Hear the death screams of distant prey mating calls of monkeys. Runners are chasing a grey hare, uh, chewing grass, dusk fox. You just sit there watching the not so distant forest trying to outlast your sleepiness. You only guess how much time has passed. Once you feel how you've had enough, you climb down and go to a tent, waking up the bearded man with just a couple of words. You confirm that nothing important has happened. Get my things, squeeze into the tent, use my bag as a pillow, and put my blanket head on the pallet. Cover myself with a cloak. Cool. Sleeping in a tent is not the stuff of dreams, but it's much welcome rest. The pallet keeps the cold, the cold soil away. The moonlight saves the outside world from eerie gloom. You listen to your own breath and find a comfortable position. Your job starts tomorrow. I focus on the real goal of my journey. Merchant Guilt wants to take control of this realm. Your wardening duties are secondary, first and foremost. You need to explore the peninsula, learn about the territory resources, territory resources and threats. Get to know the locals, and if you can, convince them to consider negotiations with Hovlevan officials and traders. Could the tribes resist the soldiers or be a, a threat to the priests of the United Church? Are there any forbidden practices that need to be eradicated, such as blood magic, necromancy, robbery, or slavery? At least I have time. 40 days to be exact. I need to be as thorough as I can. Alright. Once you finish your reconnaissance, you should speak with Tulia and return to Hovlevan. There you report back to your employers and get your reward. In the meantime, you have your own goal to pursue. Uh, gather extra coins for someone I care about. Retire early. I want, them, I want to be a hero. I want a new life for myself. I want to be a hero. Hmm. Yeah, I want to be a hero. Your half asleep senses are catching the sounds of the wild forests. Your instincts keep you alert and anxious, though the pleasant, humid late summer air evens it out slowly. You're thinking about your goal, but you need to gather something, your strength. All I can do now is rest. If you can't travel during the night, press sleep button to rest. Sleeping in a tent, okay. If you spend the night in the borrowed tent, it's nothing special. But it will protect you from the wind and rain, and the ground won't be painfully hard nor cold. Okay, cool. Makes sense. So these are the stats. Face is dirty. People hesitant to trust you. Oh, Jesus. Nourishment 104. You won't restore help with sleeping or resting. Oh, my God. Maybe it was a mistake to be the scholar, the weakest of combat. Okay, uh, you're woken up by sunlight, well rested and ready. Without haste, you gather your things. After only a couple of breaths, you notice a weird smell, like a roast. No, burning meat, burning rotten meat. Disgust crawls into your consciousness and you exit the tent. Your horse is looking around nervously. Your bags are where you had, had left them. You see an open gate. I go outside to see what's happening. Both soldiers, both soldiers stand in your humble pyre. The man in the shirt looks at it complete, uh, contemplatively. Tully is the first one to address you. Papa Damus, she greets you with a nod. We use the horse's manure for the flames, so don't worry about cleaning it up. You see a corpse among the flames. It's impossible to tell if it belongs to a male or female, but it was an adult. The burning process won't be over for a couple more hours. A traveler or an undead? A latter, a young one. She lacked the pneuma to understand that she couldn't get inside the camp without climbing. I stabbed her with a spear from a safe distance. One more fog and she'd be a real threat. 
even now it took a couple of hits to knock her down. Jesus, okay. Sooner or later, every human shell wakes up, gaining more strength with each soul it devours and each moment it spends in the fogs. Burning the dead is not just a religious practice, it's a necess necessity. Okay. Jesus. Um, running away from the recon, don't blame you. Find us here if you need us. If you learn what happened to Asterion, there's enough ground here for you to rest. Safe travels. These words make you stop an old farewell, mocked in a number of songs and tales. But yet, hear no scorn in Tuli's voice. You wonder how many acts of kindness like this one you're going to experience in the days to follow. She returns to the pyre. I prepare myself for the journey. Somehow miss the fact that your mantle is already saddled and warmed up. You double check the equipment, but you don't need to fix anything. The soldiers were diligent. Normally preparing any palfrey for a long journey takes a lot of time. You put on your gabison and make sure that your axe is tight. Tightly attached to your belt and then get in the saddle. The palfrey knickers ready to leave. It's time for you to get to the crossroads north from here. Okay. I need to ride north. Alright, we're moving. That was a long intro. Travel north. Even at a later hour, you wouldn't expect to meet any travelers in the valley. A warm summer breeze lures your mount forward, but the serene chirping of birds is quickly replaced by the distracting screeches and gurgles coming from further down the path. You soon find the pack of four-legged griffins. They're larger than foxes and, and merge the features of birds and furred beasts. Each one is of different size, coat, and colors, and the temperaments are just as varied. The fronts are covered with the feathers. Okay. Wings are massive, making them impressive jumpers, but they're too heavy to fly. About two dozen beasts are yelling, bawling, and chasing each other around, blocking your path. Consider my options. You can't enter the forest blindly. If these rather creatures were to chase you, the thick would be disastrous to your horse. The reasons why travelers stay as close to the main roads as possible, that's why adventurers move in groups. Usually the safest approach would be to stay where you are and just wait for the pack to get hungry. It may, however, take up a couple of hours. Think about your conversation with Thule, you've got a lot to do, and time may be of the essence. On occasion, you can see the skull's education to unlock unique interactions. Aha, cool. Random chance. Okay, the scholar. I mix black powder. Wait, what? I mix black powder and gladden with the grows nearby and dried skunk roll in my bag. Once I ignite it and throw it at the griffin, they'll scatter? Oh, cool. I just use knowledge. Use my five head. Most city folk feel aversion towards black powder and you touch it with great care. The odor of the plants makes you feel dizzy, but what's more important is that the griffins have wolf-like sensitive sensitivity to smells and noises. Two of the beasts turn their head towards as you approach the pack with a bag in your hand. You ignite your missile and throw it forward. At first the creatures surround the source of smoke, but then growl in disgust, even putting their beaks to the ground. They flee, allowing you to continue on your journey. Cool, okay. I climb on the horse and cover my nose. I really need to find a proper alchemy set. Cool, success. Use, use knowledge. Road splits. According to what the soldiers have told you, you may find a safe inn by turning left. The first to the right is lush and trail overgrown. Kids used to have this song. How did it go? The harshest pathway leads to the dragon's lair. Those who search for treasure, do you truly dare? The signpost in front of you doesn't make your situation much clearer. It was put here by someone who can't write. Folks who can't read, covered in old red paint, points east. Blood there, as people say, danger to be found. No soul to ask be found, uh, for guidance. Well, I mean, if blood is to the right... I look at my horse. What's its name? Sodel. Yes. Sodel is peaceful as you stroke its mane. It maybe it can't help you choose a path, but you've spent many years together. Happy to go on. It takes a couple of steps forward. It's 
spot a few berry bushes, uh, berry shrubs and wild cabbages, but there's still at least two weeks to get it through. Time to make a turn? I can wait, I can travel. Uh, wait a second, what were they saying? Archive. What's to the east? Undead, I think. I guess I'll just go where I'm supposed to. West. So thou trots with ease, unbothered by the few branches covering the, be the beaten road. Bird songs and distant howls draw your attention to the forest, which gets sparser and brighter. You spot boars, boars, roe deer, and saurians. The sight of a nearby wolf pack worries you, but once you push your hips forward and your power free enters a canter, beasts don't even begin a uh, pursuit. Speed alone will protect you from any dangers. You notice a stone tower taller than the trees. Must be the inn I've heard about. Inns like this one fit the regions travelled by merchants, but you won't expect a place of this size in a forsaken peninsula. Stone and lumber must have been transported from far away, and the workers guarded by expensive mercenaries surely live for many seasons in a primitive hamlet, subsisting of salted supplies. There are seemingly no cracks in the walls, and the building was whitewashed only a few years back. The road is wide and beaten. Dozens of souls could hide, if not in the building, then at least in the yard. The expenses and labor put in this fortress were worth many trading ships. Three armed people are on the tra ramparts, and you can see only what's above their waistline. They're leaning on the parapets, right next to the gates, and you think you notice a glimpse of a smile. They were gambesons. Each one of them died differently. Yellow, green, and lemon gray. I approach the gate. A woman in yellow armor leans forward. She has long, curly, disorderly red hair. Pointing in every possible direction. This combination of colors doesn't work at all. In the woods, one would have to shout to draw this much attention. Uh, there still is a fair distance between the two of you, but she speaks loudly. I hadn't seen a horse for years now. I just said that it's a weird to see such a large jackass, huh? Her voice is young and strong, with an accent that reminds you of the villages spread around Hovlevin. But no jackass would wear a saddle, I say. She exchanges a few words with a male guard wearing green, giving you time to move closer. Well, this one here says there's, there really are donkey saddles. Say, traveller, how hard is it to ride a horse? Witty. Playful. I laugh. You wouldn't believe it. The lessons were a pain. You get off your horse and imitate the silly walk from the day that followed your first long journey. When your whole shell was crying, you illustrate the pain as you move your hand from your back to your hips and thighs. In return, the guard tells you about that time when they had to carry their friend with bitten off legs for three days straight. Uh, okay. You may be in a good mood. The woman in the yellow jacket smiles at you. Don't get too get so noisy noisy when you talk to our boss. The man never smiles, he has the world's suffering sculpted on his face. She leads you under the roof under which your palfrey can rest, tethered with a cord of a wooden post near some old hay. Once you're ready, go inside, speak with our boss. Maybe you're hungry. Okay. The other guards take care of various chores. They peek at your mouth every now and then as they're splitting firewood, cleaning their clothes, weeding the garden patches, and moving chairs. Two of them are making a rope. You enter with the inn, hearing the piercing scream of a boar from the other side of the yard. I open the door. New shelter unlocked. Man, this is. Uh, there's a lot of reading. Okay, well, it's a text based game. I guess that makes sense. But I thought there would be more. Um, action maybe this the intro is very slow 
muscular man is sweeping the floor near the stairs, but after he glances at you, he leans the broom against the wall and heads behind the counter. You're lucky to show up. His voice is deep and soft. Yes, yo, auntie. I can spend the entire day resting. Okay, cool. I've got a keg of a, a keg of decent ale. Wormwood, bog myrtle, juniper berries, cat's foot. He fills a mug carefully and puts it on the countertop. It's going to spoil soon. Today, maybe. And we don't drink here before the even. I hate to see the good stuff going to waste. His skin is dark, almost purple. Rare even among the southern tribes. His hair is unnaturally bluish. His clothes are quite fancy for manual labor. The elegant tunic wouldn't stand out in the city square. I stand at the counter. Planks let that creak after every step you make, so you slow down a bit. You can swear that the innkeeper made little to no noise. Here you go. He pushes the mug forward. But just so you know, my pelt of the north doesn't belong to the Oflavan. You can sleep on the floor if you wish so, but if you want a bed or a meal, you have to pay. I may have some leftovers from dinner, but I need to check. friendly. Thanks for the drink. I see you know how to make friends with the road warden. He meets your eyes with a puzzled look, then grabs a wet cloth and starts to wipe down the shelves. Yeah, still here? You still here, matey? What you up to, auntie? From time to time, your conversation is interrupted by splashing splashes of dirty water in the wooden bucket. Well, nothing is truly free. I have work for a soul of the road, but I don't need a new mouth to babble. He speaks slowly, yet audibly. Value my time, you should value yours. Yeah, I drink the ale. Uh, the dark room and wooden walls of the mug make the liquid look as brown as a chestnut. A lean spring hits your nose, and the first sip is even too complex, too flowery. The brew has used fancy ingredients, the exotic licorice ruins the aftertaste. Now you know why there's so much left, maybe it takes an acquired taste. The innkeeper nods. I was hoping to see someone willing to patrol the roads. Maybe you'll help me with the boring thought I have. Which is? There are brigands in the woods. Our place is a stronghold, so I'm not afraid of an open strike. But they've run more active in the last two years. One day they may steal our furs. I have no doubt that the reason why merchants come here only once. Having bandits around gets expensive. He rubs his hands together, camouflaging his paws. I want you to reach I want you to reach Howler's Dell, the northwest from here. It's the largest settlement around. I'm sure you'll get there sooner or later. Ask Ties, the mayor about Glortia. That bloodthirsty wolf of a woman. I've heard rumors about a raid in the north. If Glossy is ready to break the truce with the locals, I'm willing to join forces with them to get rid of her band. He looks at a nearby dragon bone. Not too difficult, right? Just do it when you have a chance. A couple of days won't make much of a difference. Make much of a difference. I'll pay you two coins when you get back on the news. Fine. Three. He observes you for a moment. Two, he growls. Do you have any leftovers? Yes, I feed them to a boar. I won't give them away for nothing. He tells you to wait, then leaves the building. I, I, I would like some food. I'm dying of starvation. 
it returns with a wooden buck and a long stick ending with a hook. Go through the gate and turn left. You'll see a bunch of bushes. We need some berries. Bring me a bucket full. You'll be done in half an hour or so. You also can use a nap anyway. You also can use a nap anyway. I don't prepare something to fill you. The hook is not made of metal or wood. It's long curved claw, almost black. I reach for the tools. Half an hour? That's quite a lot of berry picking. The tools are cold, not too heavy. You notice a pair of thick gloves at the bottom of the bucket. Berries are not a problem in, in Keeper Smokes. Unlike the snakes, better scare them away with a stick or move them with a hook. Protect your hands, the little ones won't eat you, but they don't get bitten. I'm sure you know you know how to be patient. Fine. Uh, I'll go right away. Step outside, Saddle is lazily looking around at his hour. Yep, the armor's workshop is closed, okay. Go to the well. Need at least one piece of bathing equipment to get more out of this place. All right, step away. Approach the guards. Yeah, I'm the new one. Yep. Do you want to play some dice? Yeah, let's play some dice. I blend into the group. Share casual jokes, memories, and views on luck and ultimate strategies. So that until his camp are also brought up. Then you ask about the road of the locals. Their stories are vague. The drinks are here. Support beer made from leftovers after regular booing. Yeah, sucks. Uh, in just a few minutes, you got two points, which are now represented by smooth pebbles. You don't really know uh, know how you got got them. Either you don't get the strategy, or it's just pure luck. There's a strategy in this game. I can see it. I can't be sure I'll win, but I can play better than I expect. In your final round, you get ahead of everyone, and the spectators playfully come on your moves. The winner takes all. Three dragons are placed on the table, and you put them in your pouch quickly. The table and chairs are moved back in the building, and the guards in yellow armor thank you for playing. Is there anything you need? Cool. I, I, I won. Tell me about yourself. Now, nah, Robo, we use names and stories among friends. You ain't one. Don't make me tempt curses. Okay, uh, I can keep us asking me to fetch berries. Usually, we forage by ourselves, but we even ask you for ask you for a dragon for a meal. Get small jobs to people all the time just to see who agrees to them. Wants to judge who's of use and who's too proud for their own good. But if you've agreed, just be sure to get those berries today, and they'll try to take his stools away. He hates thieves. Okay. Some questions about this place. What's north of here? Uh, unusual tower. Okay. Alright, thanks. Whatever. I walk away. Let's do this, this berry th thing. Okay, the knowledge is helpful. I don't really have... Yeah, the knowledge is paying off. Innkeeper knew what he was talking about. You put on the gloves and look through the bushes from a safe distance. It doesn't take long before you notice the first serpent lying on a rock somewhere in the thicket. The creature's not that large, and even some of them hiss at you or slither closer. The jabs of the hawk keep them at a distance. You don't know much about these berries. They are round and reddish. You wouldn't trust such a color even if you were looking for food in the wilderness. Plants don't have thorns, but the leaves are harsh, so make sure you thoroughly cover your skin with your clothes. You have to look through many bushes to fill the bucket, but the presence of insects and snakes doesn't allow you to relax. I notice the shrub is not like the others. One of the bushes in the back is more berries than the others. They're purple, and as you ski squeeze one of them, you notice that they are marsh bulls. In smaller bounds, they are added to pie, sauces, and beverages, known for their delicate sourness, sweetness, unique but not intrusive. Still, eating a couple of them will make one sick, if not poisoned. You're surprised to see them in the meadow far away from the wetland. You can use them at an alchemy table if you can find them. For now, you put a fistful into one of your jars. The others are still a bit greenish. Cool. I gather the berries and return to the gate. Okay, cool. That was something interesting. Return to the courtyard. Two of the guards are participating in a friendly skirmish. 
Okay, the wrestling is accompanied by a crowd. I enter the inn. Uh, here, here are your fruits, man. Great. He picks inside the bucket. I've got cabbage stew with a few goose chunks for you. Oh, shit. Gimme. I serve it even to the merchants, if there were any around. The meal is warm and filling. It's well seasoned and not overcooked. Hell yeah. And like I've said, I really, really have food to spare. But feel free to ask if you ever stop by. You may be lucky enough. I've been cooking my whole life. Thanks. And now that old hook of my work out for you. I see you still have your hands. Uh, I'd like to buy it from you. I give him the hook. I'm fine. Okay, he nods it. Uh, I'm looking for a theory on the previous road wood. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe something else. What do you have for sale? Some food, apples, nuts, sausages, elk fur, don't need. Soap. Um, don't have any blades or armors, but if you pay well, you can take one of our crossbows and a bunch of quarrels. Okay, man, there's a lot of shit. Okay, I have what, like three? Huh? What do I have? Three gold? Eight. Box of soap, yeah, I'll buy one. Food rations. Uh, they seem goddamn useful. Elk fur, that would be nice, but I can't. Do I have anything you'd like to buy? Forget it. <laughs> I'm looking for a Styrion, the previous robot. Are oh, you now? He goes to the table and invites you to sit down with him. I don't think I'm going to be much help. He rests his elbow on the table top and grunts quietly to clear his throat. But I want you to find him, so... When asked about his intentions, he measured his words. Asterion and I made a risky deal. Well, a very promising one. Last time I was here, he took 50 coins. My half of the investment. He knocks on the table with a fist, anxiously. If you get my coin, or at least find out what happened to the guy, I'll, I'll make sure you won't be disappointed after bringing me the use. Could it be that Asterion stole the coins and ran away? He looked at the window and starts to play with the shutter. I just think Asterion ain't the kind of soul that would do such a thing. For him, it wasn't much of a fortune... I'd, and I'd uh, and I'd risk saying he'd earned my trust. Not only mine, you know. Okay. He had places to go, things to take care of. He rubs the table with his thumb as if trying to clean an invisible stain. I have asked travelers. I've sent a couple of my pals to find him. No new real news. I know he stayed in the White Marshes for a day and was meant to do something for the people there. It's a village in the northwest. Okay, that's where I'll go. Just stay on the main road until you reach the bogs. Then enter them. You may get there before dusk. So, let me know, uh, what you find anything? You may return this whole investment thing. Okay, I'll think about it. Uh, Glossy's Band. Okay, yeah, Hallensdale. I don't like to talk to people who ain't nearby. Show me first that you're someone worth changing habit for. Okay, Jesus. What will I find if I travel west? village maybe an hour away from here it was destroyed by beasts almost a decade ago nothing to see there goblins live there now aha uh -huh. it's haunted too um gathering source you get to a large tree on the edge of the swamp for the locals it's sacred you, you're not used to hearing it someone mentioning about pagans if there's nothing okay there's a small path Small path south that leads to an old mine in the mountains, nothing you find there, but keep riding north and you'll find Hallow's Dell. Okay. So I need to go northwest and north. Okay. Are these some roads as rough as I've heard? Pretty much, don't leave the main road, I'd say. Not so far from here, you'll find an old dolman. Monkey stole food. Monkeys again? 
So back to the cross. If you turn left instead, you'll see a road. People stay away from it. It connects to the tower and the monastery. A shortcut between the two sides of the peninsula. It's warned by the locals not to use it. It already belongs to the beasts. Oh shit. Just stay on track until you reach the crossroads, right near the abandoned watchtower. From there, turn east. Okay, I need to remember this. Uh, kind of like a walls. Kind of okay. She lives as a hermit in Dotsia. Turn left and said you'll see a road. People stay away from it. it. Connects the tower and the monastery. Shortcut between the two sides of the peninsula. Yeah, I was warned by locals not to use it. Already belongs to the beasts. Okay, have you been to the north coast? All right, that's all I need. Thanks. I'm out. Head to the armor. Okay. Greetings. Focus on the task. I need talking. Tell him what. Uh, tell him what does he need. Look at the young set learning the trade. Yeah, kind of. Could you patch my clothes? Okay, they can't. Okay, you can inspect. Yeah, you can patch it. Alright, that's not bad. I wash my shell. That's what I'm talking about. Tell and sweat from your skin and mud stains from your clothes. Cool. Alright, cool. Uh, I want to leave. Have you been to the heart of the woods? No. Alright, let me out. I, I want to leave. Oh, I need to travel. Roads uh, uphill meanders, slowing you down and forcing you to pay close attention not only to the shadows of the trees but also to the tight rocky passages. You can help, can't help but notice a few caves and find ambush spots. Keep an eye out. Sitting in front of the gate, you can hear voices, no tools at work, no steps, dozens of work birds live among the collapsed roofs. Collapse, collapsed roofs. The fluttering singing and squawking is free of worries. If you want to travel any further, you need to ride around the palisade. Searching the rooms may take a lot of time. The broken gate in the north will lead you to the village. The sound of a gentle river reaches you from the east, where you see a saggy fence riding the overgrown pasture. Behind the burnt building in the east, you see an oddly barren field. Take a closer look at the gate. The palisade is in good shape, and the entrance wasn't even touched by the fire. It was torn away, possibly thrown. The amount of used force must have been huge. If you expect that, it wouldn't push the gate into the village. Not away from it. Okay. Don't see the marks of a dragon bite. The troll could toss such planks, but after so many years, you see no paw prints. A mage? You can't really tell. Move forward. Explore the southwest part of the village. Collapsed. No beast remains in sight. Cool. Okay, you want the trap? Fish trap. Cool.
big. Hear some sounds coming from the larger building. Your stomach makes you let out a painful groan. They're goblins. I walk away. My stomach? I ate before though. Did I get poison? Prepare my axe. You step cautiously towards the scent of urine and sweat. The flickering candlelight shows you have broken furniture, yet no signs of burnt wood. You consider pulling out the Pulling out the door and a masculine voice proves that your presence is not unnoticed. I didn't want it, want it to come to this, but stay where you are. Whatever you put inside, be it a shoe, a hand, or you damn think it will get a bolt. Scared. So it's like some hom homeless dude. I think I can, I think I can taunt him. Hint at a threat. I really gonna bet everything on a single shot. Don't miss, or I'll get angry. Angry enough to swing my axe. You hear a long sigh. You're right. You're right. I'm not even a brawler. Hear that? This is the sound of a heavy object being put on the floor. That's my ballista. I'm no threat, you know. Just keeping myself safe, scaring away the outlaws and ape men. Come in, roadster. But don't breathe too deeply. This place, place reeks. Aha, I picked the right response. Cool. I could tell he was scared, so I kind of pushed on him. The man's voice is shaking, and his accent is tricky for you. He could be from the distant south, but as long as you don't speak too quickly, you understand one another. You don't hear any other movements, breathing, or voices. Still holding my weapon, I walk inside. Uh, the dead smell of urine hits you with full force, while the tools and utensils are hard to distinguish from the rubbish. The road to the upper floor is blocked by the collapsed roof and loose uh, wooden beams. There are scraps of rusting iron and steel on the ground, detached from now and destroyed barrels. The scavenger is sitting on a blanket in front of the tent, right next to his unloaded crossbow. Not a short man, though a bit skinny. He's tanned, dark-haired, and has seen a share of struggles. Uh, there are long claw scars, claw scars on his left cheek, and another one that would divide his eyebrow in half if it had been consumed by a fire. Just look at the rest of his forehead. His clothes are untamed but vanity, by vanity. He's barefoot in a dirty linen shirt with rolled-up sleeves, simple pants, and he's used cord for a belt. His long beard and hair are untrimmed and tangled. I stand you both my hand my axe I'm in control no you still got this crossbow you can flick me up I'm control. You touch the end of your axe and the man flinches. His voice is full of resignation. I have to tell you, I'm glad you're here. If I stay here for much longer, I'll end up on a pyre in the fogs. Can't even share this shelter with you. There's no place. Can't even share this shelter with you. There's no place for another shell, even more so a horse. Candlelights are dancing on his burnt face and arms. What are you looking for in this place? You don't sound like you're from the north. Uh, I'm looking for another road warden. I have I've never met him, but surely heard his name many times. He vanished long before I got to the coast. At first people were asking about him. 
now they think he's dead. Listen, he scratches his thigh nervously. I'm hungry, so hu so damn hungry, I can't hunt or fish with all the ape men around. Can you share anything, Roadster? I might be a drifter, but I wouldn't beg if I had lost my uh, I had not lost my bags on the road. I'll be generous. Here. Yeah, have it, man. Ha! Ah, if you say so. Well, you don't know my dearth. He bites in the sausage right away, but after a couple of solid bites, he puts your gifts into an unfolded tunic that's lying on the floor. Without you, I would have had to run after birds with my ballista. But I need to save the bolt for the ape men. And because of those stinkers, I can't roast here. The raw meat makes me want to puke. Thank you. After a moment of hesitation, he grabs one of the plums. Now, nah, roaster. He says with a full mouth. If you have questions, ask. I'll say that more to make him uh, to make you get me out of here. There's a lot of shit here. Uh, I think there are hidden treasures left. Came to the wrong place. Time, moisture, and uh, damn borders devout all loot. I've been here for a couple of days now, and all that's left is this iron I carried here. Planning to get back here with some hide muscle to clear the collapsed buildings. I doubt it's worth the time or risk. Okay. Tell me about yourself. People call me Pyros. Okay. Spent all my coin in houses in for Elder's magic? Uh, okay, gay rocks. Well, he tilts his head to the right and gives you a distrustful look. If you're patient, take your time, and you can get the gale rocks from the sea, in a light boat or raft, or something that can avoid the rocky teeth. Sure, no hope for a ship or any trade, but with some help, you can do it. Don't tell anyone I told you this. His tone gets significantly colder. It's not something people shouldn't talk about. There's no one dead around? I've seen none. People say it's been less than 10 years since the herds came here. I don't know if anyone bothered in raising the pies. Okay, cool. Maybe there's a walker hidden somewhere under the debris. You better not dig, okay? Have you seen any handouts, uh, hideouts of the bandits? Nah, heading in the north, okay. How do you keep the goblins away? I got a trick or two to keep me safe. A little something that scares them away, even without magic. But tell you what, his smile turns into white grim. Help me out, get out of here, and I'm gonna share some of it with you, okay. Do you have an idea what happened here? Beast broke through, okay. This village makes me sick. Me too. The guts and I think it gets easier with time. If you're patient, it must be the air smell of death. Death and ape and piss. Past his stomach all laughing. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Where do you want to travel now? What do you will give me for my help? Other than Hell is Den. People here are nice, you know, not like the old Pagos. Okay. Move to Pelt, okay. Um Bunch of groups jumped my pack bird, just bought it. He spits on the floor, fast and nimble, but not brave enough to listen to me with all that screeching and scratching started. So it ran away with my bags. A few fell on the ground and I pulled them here. You see how it is? I won't travel around with a tent on my back. Taps a crossbow with his fingers. I need maybe a day or more just a day and I'll have the only iron scrap from the barrel so I can move forward. I can't take all my stuff alone and without me around, the ape men are going to break in and steal my shit. I need to stay here, but since you have a horse, Come back tomorrow and help me return to Hallis Den. How about it? I just need to know the road is safe, safe as it can be, I mean. What exactly do you want me to do? I need to make sure that there's no danger hiding on the road. From here to Hallis, or rather there's some danger. But as long as you can get me there and safely return. Okay, well, I'll try to get to Hallis now then.
Uh, shorter path, I guess. Fewer spots to get surrounded by corpses. If you're sure it's the best option, of fine. I'll trust the Rose's judgment. I don't work for free. I have ways to pay. Don't worry. I can give you dragons. I have to sell the item first, so I'll need a bit of time. Five for a short escort would be plenty, I'd say. But if you want, I'll give you a secret jar of mine. A very fine mixture that scares ape men away. Works on peppers, too. Alright. Just come tomorrow. I'll make it worth your time. Alright. Alright, nothing else there. Because you're to the village, the longer you stay around, the sicker you feel. The taste of gastric juices hits your mouth. Your forehead hurts and you start to stumble. So don't worry about the side pokes your head with its nose. I walk away uh, far away from the walls. Uh, leaning on your mouth, you go for outside, keeping your mouth shut. After you minutes, your eyes get clearer. Maybe better to leave, or at least stay away from the village for the rest of the day. Okay, good idea. I don't want to be here. I'll travel. Wait, there's nothing else? Can I go? I want to go f further. Oh, there's another... Shit. East is overgrown. Let's try this crazy place. Oh, shit. What's the time? Nine hours before dusk. Okay. A road east is overgrown. So the trots, when it has a chance, more often walks forced to jump over larger branches blocking the path. Nearby lake is surrounded by thirsty wildlife. I observed the dark forest ready to react to something jumps at me. Oh shit, then maybe this was a mistake. A couple of stone slimes would turn to a hut like shape. One of the Eton chapels raised by the priests of the United Church in the days, okay, a few soldiers, even a few soldiers and even a few shelters. The entrance is barely wide enough to let you walk inside. It was meant to keep larger beasts away, including your palfrey. I can't spend the night here. I approach the hourglass coffins of the stone. The most common religious sign of the city folk is about the United Church, or is the truth? Uh huh, okay. Touch the hourglass and pray. Stone welcomes your open palm coldly. The hourglass doesn't start to shine, the birds don't cease to sing, and there's no incense fighting into the chapel. Yet once you close your eyes, gather your thoughts, and rub the sacred sign on your fingers, your soul is focused and tranquil as if you're awakened after a long rest. Prayer is built from the phrases. Okay, whatever. Enter the chapel. Beams of light get through the gaps, but you can hardly see anything. A torch will fill the place with smoke, but a candle will suffice. How many travelers sat on the cold rock? Look around. Use your keyboard to uh, name objects you're interested in. What? Door? Wall? What are you looking for? Paying attention to floor? Uh, charred wood. Wood. Old campfire. Bones. Loot. <laughs> Treasure. Hole. Poop. Whatever, okay. Neglect uh oh. Oh shit, goblins. Neglected path, barely find any space among the, all the hills, trees, and streams. There's deer in the ground lying in a red puddle. 
Oh shit, surrounded by a small pack of creatures which notice your presence quickly. There's about eight of them with thick, with thick furs and shades of brown, thick gray and black. Hairless faces with small eyes and large mouths, currently stained by the blood of their prey. Some of them move on all fours, while others uncomfortably stand on two feet. They are two or three heads shorter than you, but it's your mount which truly towers over them. And you see how a couple of the beasts take a few steps back, grunting and glancing at one another. One with grey furs shouts, and the others move towards the rock and sticks, which are piled on the road. They hold them awkwardly in some struggle to maintain a straight posture, many on their new weapons for support. Then almost all of them spread to your left and right, blending with the shrubs loudly. Only two of the apes are standing still. There's goddamn eight of them! Oh shit. Mudhead? The music is cool though. My character is not good at combat. Do I even have a weapon? I've got writing instruments. I can write them a message of insult. How about I save? Hold the reins tightly! Sodel tries to turn around, that's the horse. Loyally follows your directions. Charge the goblins, scream at the pack, shaking my whip, and I try to scare them away. Throw food, I don't have a crossbow. I look behind me, just to make sure they're not already there. I have make a few threatening swings, focusing my attention on the beasts that enter the forest. Yeah, yeah. Goblins on your left and right. Oh shit. I take cautious steps, keeping some distance between another, as if they want to make sure you won't find a way of escaping. They keep making noises, some of them ape-like. <laughs> some of them weirdly similar to those of humans. They grunt, screech, shout, and shake their weapons at you. You wonder if these gestures are something they make whenever they face an enemy or just humans. Then you get stabbed in the back. Fuck. Literally, you turn around and see, I'm on the horse! How did I get stabbed in the back? Uh, seeing a goblin that, as far as you can tell, was not part of the group surrounding the carcass. It's holding a wooden spear, or rather a pointed stick. Longer than the creature is tall. Your armor is able to reduce the impact, but you feel the pain from the hit. You can tell the linen was torn. You need, some, uh, need to find something to fix it. Oh, shit. You wonder how many of them are still hiding on the trees. I can't win. I can't run away. I rush Sodal forward. Oh, shit. Your mount speeds up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Though it doesn't have enough space to enter a gallop. You prepare your weapon, but while you feel somewhat comfortable with the blade while on foot, fighting from saddles is completely unfamiliar to you. The younger goblin attempts to stop your horse, but the strike it receives sends it into the nearby bush, screaming in pain. Aw, oh, cool. Great one, however, manages to grab your boot and is now trying to keep up with your speed, making one leap after another. First strong swing of your axe was unable to reach the target. A spear would do better in this scenario. Kick it off. Aim for the head. Oh, fuck. Aim for the head! A lucky swing of your axe hits its skull, not only crushing the bone, but also pushing it out of your way. Oh, shit. It rolls over the road, and your mount runs faster, still riding. You shake the blood off your blade. Your leg is free, the road is clear. Oh shit, okay, just randomly hit him in the just forehead. For a few more moments, you hear the angry shouts and screeches, but soon after that, it's again only you and your mount. Time to see where you, <laughs> what we're going to find down the road. Cool, okay, mission next success. Uh, fallen tree. A brown pine tree blocks the road for a wayfarer. Walking over the thin branches to the top is not much of an issue. Even so, Dal led on a rope could walk around the stump. The large wagon can move around in one piece, onward in one piece. It's not without detaching the mules, unpacking all the wares, and moving everything by hand. By hand? Okay, mistake. Cutting a tree into pieces would take hours, even with the proper tools, and you can't hope to move it with just the muscles that you and your mouth have to offer. Ooh, spend some time setting up a fish trap.
Uh, place a basket around and grab a ball and start digging, looking for a few larger worms. Bait the stick and push it into inside the basket, locking inside between the sides. Cover the entrance lid, tying together. Cool. Tie the rope to a rock and push into the river fine enough that it sinks entirely. Who knows how long it'll take before something large enough to swim inside. Still, it'll be better not to wait too long. Otherwise, the prey may die of hunger. Okay. Wash myself. Uh... All right, I got a little bit cleaner, I guess. The One Piece is real. Where do I find it? I want to look around. What do you investigate? The wagon? Planks are still firm. There's no mustiness in the air. The vehicle needs to just... Just to push the fall to pieces, like a child's toy with nothing to keep the parts together, okay? You find only one limited bag, empty and moist. Okay. Uh, tracks? Two sets of tracks to follow. There are no hoof prints. Okay. I want to know. I think I know what happened here. Actually, if, wait, what? I have to. Wait, this is an investigation? The tree. There's no blood, no abandoned limbs. It's running area. Oh, shit. What just ha what happened? I found an arrow. No arrow marks around, not even a wagon. Uh, okay, it wasn't an ambush. I don't know what happened. I think I know what happened. Okay. It was broken by the wind. It was dying from it. It was cut down to set up an ambush. Wait a second. Show me the tree. I'm naturally smooth. Yeah, I think it was cut down to set up an ambush. It was broken, the others were not able to fix it. What was originally transported? Uh, oh shit, uh, the, tr the wagon, return to the wagon. Hinges, braces, nails and clamps. Okay, so it seemed like they was carrying um, construction material. Some valuable merchandise. They've gone north. Yes.
I want to travel north. As long as you ride uphill, the forest is sparse. Soon after, the tree roots tear the path apart. The road is coated with branches, acorns, leaves, and chestnuts, and some seedlings have already broken through the pitted surface of the road. If left undisturbed for another year or two, the forest will reclaim this place. Finally, you ride upward again. Plants are getting smaller and the road more rocky. I sigh with relief. Uh, while the hills are full of life, you don't hear anything coming from the watchtower. Its upper level lacks a wooden platform in which the guards could fly their crossbows or drop stones on the opponents below. So this place was not meant to be used for combat, but rather as a shelter from its claws and fangs. Such structures can be found in especially untamed parts of the Dragonwoods. Used occasionally by travelers or patrolling squads since the end of the war. Jesus. The cities can't find enough people in Dragonwoods to keep them in good shape. You see no footsteps, no lights, no fresh trash or latrine. The birds are preening their feathers on the top of the tower, while the branches of nearby trees are swaying in a fierce cold wind. Look for tracks. Tracks lead here through the narrow gate, then west. Hard heels are especially noticeable. Okay. Take a look at the signpost. South and north. Decades. Decades of rains, frost. Okay, it's old. Enchanting. In Hovlevin. Aha, uh -huh, okay, Enchanter. Something interesting amongst the trees. Cops. What's cops? Corpse? Human made corpse? The sludge trees are as tall as the tower itself, which surely doesn't help those who are meant to observe their surroundings. Most of which used to belong to young saplings. Cops. I don't know what a cops is. Find wild fennel and lettuce. Thriving among the shadows. Cool. Yoink. Find food. Examine campfire. See a shattered bowl. The remains of a meal from many years ago. However, the firewood and the lonely stool are not too old. You don't doubt that the watchtower seems less threatening to wait for us in the wilderness around it, even when it's locked. Walk to the gate. High quality wood, previously soaked in oil, now mostly wiped off. Approach the entrance. Take a look at Soto if necessary, could bow its head to walk inside. This place could be a decent shelter for both of you. Planks are strong, heavy, well protected. Okay, cool. Look around the tower, make sure there are no open windows or other entrances. Um, four hours before dusk. CC a large keyhole. Potential way for... Okay. Look through the keyhole. You kneel down to take a peek. There's nothing in the hole. The room is dark. Tiny bits of light passing through the crevices of the windows. You see the shapes of wooden furniture, like tables, desks. But on, the only moment you notice belongs to the dust dancing and sunbeams. Okay, break through it. You start chopping the door in a spot where two planks are connected to one another. It takes a bit of time. It's a precision... Especially since you struggle to find the right angle to take a swing. Finally, the door cracks. When you push it, it lets out a dizzy creaking of rusty hinges. The empty table stands in the middle of a large round room filled with dust furniture. Without the open door, you struggle to see anything. Uh, you wait to be sure that nothing tries to jump on you and finally hide your weapon. You need to remember to sharp it later on. Oh shit, I fucked it up. First thing you notice is the room isn't high, and just like the window suggested, there's a second floor above it. And shelves are empty, no tools left behind. A couple of dishes, bugs, spiders, worms. 
Ugh. Trash. I don't care about bugs. With access to an alchemy table, I could prepare a herbal bug repellent, but I don't have one. Enter the tower. Oh, I can't. I need a bug repellent. Well, that's it. This way is not forward in a demo. Oh, is that it? I can't go further north. I think that's it. The demo. I'm going to get my trap and I'm going to leave. Well, I mean... It's too dangerous to stay here. Oh, no, I need to... I'll go... Wait a second. I'll travel back. Take shelter. Enter the tower. Sleep. Yes. I sleep in this crap hole. Sketching from the lower floor wakes you up. You get out of blank and look down on the ladder. The main door shakes just in case. You open a window and glance outside. A pale, muscular fright ape tries to open the entrance with its massive hands, but to no avail. After he hears the screeching of a shutter, it looks at you with its dead black eyes. And grabs one of the bricks and bounces up, shortening the distance quickly. You lock the window with every bolt and bar it has, just in time to keep the shouting monster away. The ape punches the planks fiercely and then climbs even higher, looking for another entrance, but is incapable of recognizing the trap door, and after a few minutes you think it gave up. Jesus! Get back to sleep. You open your eyes and there's the unpleasant tingling on your cheek. You reach out and what turns out to be a small bug. Ew. Uh. Alright, go south. Get the trap. Give me my fish. Yes, let's see if the trap... You caught two fish! But I have to, I have to travel here to, to make a campfire? Approach the campfire spot. Cook two fish. Gather some firewood for another day. Cool. Okay, now we got two fish. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's get this loser. Um, where was the dude? The scavenger's camp, yeah. I brought you some food. Just say to where we can leave. Okay, let's, let's go. Oh, shit. He asked for a break even though you shared your food with him. He's not fully covered from days of hunger. But the farther away you get from the ruins, the more cheerful and talkative he gets. Mostly speaking about what he needs to buy and how much he hated the dead place. Then the beasts show up. Oh, shit. A loud bunch of griffins block the road near a pond. For you, the colorful furs and feathers don't look much different than the pack you faced in the valley days ago. There's still some distance between you and them, but that could be crossed... In less than a minute. There may be 20 beasts in sight, and this time they pay you much more attention. They spread their wings and start to screech, some making a few leaps forward. Your mouth is too overloaded for you to turn away and get out of their range. 
Better to hold like ground, groans the scavenger, preparing his crossbow and dagger. What's your plan? He shrugs. Not much to plan here. Kill, kill as many as we can, and if we're lucky, the rest will tuck their tails and scat. They won't kill all three of us, eh? They're just griffs. Charge? Let's focus on killing one of them as quickly as possible. Maybe the others will flee. He nods and moves in front of your mount, then raises his loaded weapon, aiming at the closest creature. Ready. I don't have a crossbow. Once the man shoots... Ah, oh, shit. I let the creatures get closer? Are we charging or not? Oh, shit. I can all in by throwing my axe. There's 20 of them, though. Get the hell away from me. My axe is not sharp. Oh no. I jump my from my front. All right, the ante. I stay my I stay back. The man's arrow hits and stops one of the creatures, but it doesn't buy you much time. You point him to the next victim, and the man understands right away. He switches his weapons and tries to get to the monster's side as it charges at you. Brother jumps at you with its talons and beak outstretched. Your powerful hit makes it fly to the side, landing just before the scavenger's boots. A painful shout pierces the air, and you have enough time to take a defensive stance. The next minute, you slice and dice whatever you can hit, filling the air with screeches and feathers. The sheer number of opponents overwhelms you more than once, and it's difficult to keep pushing them away with your free hand. As you peek towards the scavenger, you see he's doing fairly well, jumping away from whenever he lands a hit, but his short blade holds him back. You see blood coming from a few cuts with through his clothes. Finally, it all ends, though not because of a lack of opponents. Three creatures you butchered are still convulsing from pain, but the others, some of them hurt, have enough strength to run away. The will is broken, yet the pack will go on, and for, at least for some time. Your gambeson keeps you on peace. And the man splits on the spits on the ground. May apes and ibexes bang this piece this place day after day. He leans forward, taking a few deep breaths, and looks at you. Roadster! You made me sweat! We're a fine team, ye and I. He laughs briefly. Let me draw my ballista and we can move forward. I just smile and try to ease Sotil's thoughts. It's better to keep moving. I tell him to stay sharp. Okay, yeah. Wait, are we cool? Oh yeah, I take the jar. I'll take the jar. Oh, that's a good against the monkeys. Alright, cool, GG. I'm gonna leave it here. Interesting demo. Interesting game. Not my usual kind of typical kind of game. My name is Papa Damus. I used to be a scholar. Yeah, it's not my normal thing, but it was still an interesting experience, fun experience. Same with the other game. Uh, play top. I might have to, I have to recommend that to I think Harrison and and uh, Rylan. I think we might have fun playing that. Anyway, homie says GG for me. I'll catch you later. Time for some snugmas and walking walking out of here. Good night. See you, homies. Hope you enjoy the indie games. Peace out.